Hello YouTube friends, welcome back, James here, and today I'm going to be making a video I think a lot of people were waiting for, and that is going to discuss, is writing on Medium worth it in 2024 uh, with a realistic earnings overview? Now, I made a lot of money writing on Medium in 2023, but big changes to how stories are distributed and how they earn recently changed the game. So today, I'm going to walk you through those new changes to the Medium Partner Program. I'm going to review my earnings from 2023, and I'm going to reveal what you can realistically expect to make in 2024. Then I'll tell you based on that whether I think writing on Medium is still worth it. So let's get right into it. Now, the Medium Partner Program underwent some major changes in August 2023, and those changes had a major impact on how much you can realistically expect to earn. The biggest shift was how story earnings are calculated. Under the old system, subscriber read time was king as far as I can tell. And the more time people spent with your stories, the more time and the more time people spent with your stories, the more you got paid. There were of course some other wrinkles in there, uh, but I found that overall that was the king metric. And writers who contributed the most to the platform, and those with large back catalogs of older stories that were still being read by a lot of people earned the most money. And to me, that has always been the fairest way to go. People generating most time on app are the people who should be paid the most. And unfortunately, that's not how it works anymore. Medium got a bit fancy with how they pay people in the new Medium Partner Program in two important ways. Number one, they switched to paying less for read time and far more for engagement and especially comments on your stories. They also started paying more for boosted stories or ones selected by their hand-selected ed editors for bigger distribution and earnings acceleration. And it was pretty obvious to me what would happen next and I was unfortunately proven right. People who wrote kind of short junky content uh, or controversial stuff that was just aimed at getting comments earned the lion's share of the money. Whereas long time, high quality writers who put out longer form content would pay the price. The other massive change was the decision to scrap the Medium referral program. Now previously, if you brought people to the platform and they subscribed using your link, you earned half of that subscriber's money every month as long as the person remained a subscriber. And this was a huge strategic advantage that Medium had over Substack, if you ask me, because it offered writers the best of both worlds. You would get earnings from people who discovered your work through the app and then earnings from your own paid subscribers. Now, I was one of those aforementioned writers who did pay the price a little bit in this new world. Um, if you take a look at my spring and summer numbers when I really got rolling and then compare them to what I got from August on, you can see obviously a massive drop off there. Um, and as someone who writes longer stories, usually between 900 and 1300 words that generate fewer comments, I was really punished by the new system. So um, if you look here, you know, I got off to a quick start and then really peaked here around spring, summer, getting close to 3000 in earnings in a single month. And then obviously it fell off a cliff here. And then I'm just starting to recover a little bit um, because around sort of October here, uh, Medium seemed to have tweaked the algorithm a bit. Um, so that it wasn't quite as punishing on read time. Um, and then you can see I started to recover, but again, uh, nowhere near where I was before. So for the purposes of this video, um, I look back at my earnings in the summer versus now to illustrate just how big that pay cut was. So here's my stats for June, and here's what I earned. So a popular earnings metric in the online content game is revenue per mil RPM, or how much you make for every 1,000 views of your content. So in June, my RPM was about 84.50. And that's because, again, I was writing very long stories and I had good retention. So people were spending a lot of time on my stories, um, you know, three, four minutes per story on a five minute read typically. Um, so now compare that to my November stats and here's my November earnings. So I actually generated a lot more traffic in November but I was paid $1,000 less than I was in June. So my RPM in November was $37. So put another way, I earned $1,184 in November under the new system, and had the old system been in place, I would have earned about $2,700, which is obviously a massive pay cut for me. And converted to Canadian dollars, it would have been about $3,500, um, and that times 12 would be $42,000. 
uh, which is arguably a full-time salary just from blogging. And if you think that's bad, consider that prior to Medium tweaking its algorithm in late October to begin paying a little more for read time again, my RPM was actually down around $15 to $17. So I honestly got this close to quitting the platform at that point altogether. Um, the fixes that they did make in October kind of convinced me to stick around. Um, but with the lower RPM and no more referral system to build a kind of nice foundation of recurring income, I don't honestly think that it's realistically to realistic, sorry, to think that you can still make a full time uh, salary just writing on Medium. So that begs the question, is Medium still worth it in 2024? Now, you may be surprised to hear me say yes um, after I sort of pointed out all those changes but I do have some caveats to that. Now, as you know, if you followed this channel for any amount of time, I've always been a massive Medium cheerleader. It's such a great platform to write on. Um, and under the old system, um, I would have looked at it as kind of central to my online, uh, online business and online activities. Um, as I get kind of into my second year as an online content creator, I just find that I'm constantly looking for other more effective ways to make money now because, again, my goal is to be a full-time content creator and I can't really do that on Medium anymore as it stands. Now, that could change. You never know. Maybe um, there will be more of a, a, a tweak or a move back to read time um, being a more important metric. You never know. But um, as for now... Um, to me, I, I just can't see how it's realistically possible to make a full-time income on Medium. Um, and that doesn't mean that Medium is kind of irredeemably broken or anything. It just means that it's better suited, in my opinion, to content creators who are just starting out. To me, the real value of Medium in 2024, if you ask me, is that it's a great starter program or starter platform for early stage creators. Now, if you're watching this channel, that's probably what you are. So everything I've already talked about is probably less discouraging than it could be. And the reason I argue it's best for early stage creators is that the Medium Partner Program ha still has a very low bar for entry. Um, you just need to be in an eligible country and be a member of the site. And number two, is you can start getting paid right away. And the second part is extremely important, okay? Because when you're just starting out in the content business, it can really feel like an impossible mountain to climb. And if you start your own blog or try to build an email list on Substack or something, it can take literally years to start seeing any real money. And it took me a full year to get monetized here on YouTube, for example, and I really don't make much money here yet. But on Medium, you get an almost immediate financial return for your time investment. And this is an extremely encouraging thing when you're just starting out. And in fact, the first time I logged in on Medium and saw my earnings above zero, um, I think I made a few cents on my first day. It completely changed my perspective on everything because it showed me that it is possible to make real money online. And Medium still works as a foundational platform for making money elsewhere too. So every script uh, or, or outline of a script that I write for YouTube starts as an article on Medium. And that way I do the work once and I publish and earn twice. So yes, in summary, I think that Medium is still worth it in 2024, especially if you're just getting started as an online content creator. As for me, um, I look at it as a bonus now. It's not part of my long-term plan. I'm going to be publishing on YouTube um, a lot, and this gives me a place to publish my written work too. Um, so again, I no longer see Medium as a replacement for my day job. It's a good way to pad my investment account without touching my pay, and that's okay. You know, it's their site. Um, I do think that the quality of writing on Medium will ultimately suffer in the wrong, long run as legitimate writers kind of hunt for more effective ways to spend their time. But, you know, I also hold out hope that Medium will kind of figure out that the changes to the partner program kind of hurt their top writers um, and continue to adjust their algorithm accordingly. Um, because honestly, again, I'm, I'm a huge cheer, cheerleader for the site. I would love for it to work and, and continue to be a great option for creators. And I just think that the more pay that goes to legitimate writers who can bring readers and read time onto the platform, um, the more great writers will consider signing up and being a part of it. 
So folks, thanks so much for watching. I hope that answered some of your questions. Have a great day. Please like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and we'll talk to you again soon.